As was mentioned, Sandy City does not participate in Social Security. The city will contribute 7.5% of your gross salary into a 457 or deferred compensation plan on your behalf. The city uses ICMA RC, which is a public sector retirement company, for this account. There is no IRS penalty for early withdrawal, but you cannot withdraw the funds that are in this account until you have terminated employment with Sandy City. Next is to complete your enrollment for the 457. To enroll, go to www.icmarc.org. Scroll down until you see the Get Started link and click on Enroll Now. Once you have done this, select Enroll and enter the correct information, including your Social Security number. Please make sure your Social Security number is entered correctly. Next, it will ask for the plan number. The plan number for the 457 plan is 301476. The other fields, including plan state and plan name, should auto-populate once you have this information in there. Once you have completed this, click Next at the bottom of the screen. Step 3 is to select the enrollment type. For this, we will need you to select the Comprehensive Enrollment. Once you have selected Comprehensive Enrollment, click the Next button. Next, please read all the information on this page outlining the city's retirement plan and ICMA's information. Once you have finished reading, select the Next button at the bottom of the screen. Step 5 is the Personal Information section. Please complete all the fields that are required. These fields have been marked with a star. Once you have completed these fields and verified the information is correct, click on the next button at the bottom of the screen. If you have left any required fields unfilled, you will not be able to move on until the information is in these fields. Next is your beneficiary information. A beneficiary typically refers to someone eligible to receive distributions from a trust, will, or life insurance policy. You cannot list yourself as a beneficiary. Primary beneficiaries are listed first, contingent beneficiaries are listed second. Please complete all the fields that are required. Again, these fields have been marked with a star. Please note that the social security number and birthdays of your beneficiaries are not required. However, the share column must total 100%. If you have multiple people in primary and multiple people in contingent, both of those sections have to total 100%. The system won't let you move on until those sections equal 100%. Once you have finished this, click the Next button at the bottom of the screen. Next is your contribution information. Please read the information on this page and then leave amount per pay set at zero. Seasonal and part-time non-benefited employees cannot make additional contributions to their 457 accounts, and our payroll department will determine the 7.5% of gross earnings that will be contributed to the 457 account each paycheck. Once you have finished this, click the Next button at the bottom of the screen. Next is the future investment allocations. If you would like to choose where your contributions are invested, you can select from the funds that have been offered. If you do not have a preference, you will be enrolled in the default allocation. Many of our employees choose defaults, but you can always change where your contributions are invested at a later time. Once you have decided where you want your contributions to be invested, click the next button at the bottom of the screen. Next is the account access user ID. Please make sure to create a new user ID and new password, as well as to confirm your user ID and password. Make sure it meets the specified criteria. If you want to receive documents through email, make sure you check the e-delivery box. If you would like to receive documents through the mail, you can leave this box unchecked. Make sure to check the account disclosures box once you have read through the required information. Once you have finished this, click Next at the bottom of the screen. Next, we have the verification of information. Please verify that all the information you have entered to this point is correct. If there is anything that needs to be fixed, please hit Edit and make sure that information is corrected. Once you have verified all the information, click the Next button at the bottom of the screen. Finally, we have our participant signature. This is an e-signature, so make sure that you click I accept and then hit the submit button at the bottom of the screen. Once you have done this, you will have completed the enrollment for your 457. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the Human Resources Office. Our number is 801-568-7151. We can also be reached at hr 
at sandy.utah, all spelled out, dot gov, G-O-V. This concludes the 457 enrollment video.